Dharma Space Station, my lord. I'm Ensign Rail. I gather this visit is because you'll be traveling through to the surface of Hoth. I did not come here to share my plans with Ensigns. Oh, I'm dreadfully sorry, my lord. I was assigned to assist you upon your arrival. I'll be scanning you so I can customize your cold weather equipment. Then I'll arrange your briefing. There we are. As you're on the VIP list, Lieutenant Halpern will brief you. He's in the theater. Good day. Attention, a lord is present. At ease. Let's get this started. Ostensibly, the conflict on Hoth is over salvage from a battle that happened above the planet. In reality, it is our trap for the Republic. So the salvage is worthless? Or is it just too hard to get to? A bit of each. There is a fairly major pirate force that holds much of what the Republic wishes to recover. The Imperial plan is not to gain ground, but rather to make the battle as costly as possible to the Republic. We want our forces small and mobile, and while the Republic keeps chasing victory, we bleed them dry of personnel and equipment. The strategy seems sound. How will it change what I do? It means we will rely heavily on small unit groups, such as yourself, to cause damage and withdraw. Pitched battles are lost battles. My lord, forgive the interruption. I brought your cold weather equipment. We were just finishing, Ensign. This should keep your core body temperature up. When you're ready, report to a pilot in the shuttle bay for transport to the planet. Colonel Vanis at Dawn Base will be waiting for you. Good luck down there. And it awaits, my lord. Commander Triton will want to meet with you. My briefing said I was to meet a Colonel Vanis. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Commander Triton's the one listed as in charge now. I'm sure he can fill you in on the story. I need to de-ice the shuttle here. Your advice boils down to doing nothing, and that I cannot do. Sir, I respect your bravery, but if you see this through personally, you will be dead. And whose leadership will we have then? My lord, we're glad you've arrived. May I introduce Commander Triton, and myself, a humble captain, core name, Eudrus. Lieutenant Halpern sent word you would be coming, and we've never had greater need of you. Colonel Vanis, the commander of this base, is missing. We fear he's dead, along with all the most experienced men from this base. To lose one officer is a casualty. To lose them all sounds like a coup. I assure you, the last thing I wanted was leadership of this base. I had zero choice in the matter. The Colonel went out to investigate evidence of a possible spy probe near the Ice Lake. He was under heavy guard. We received a distress call. It was obvious he found trouble. Scout 1 to Dawn Base. Heavy casualties. Taking heavy casualties. We're under attack. We can't see the... Ah! 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 What on this world could take out an armed group of officers? Besides the Republic, there are Wampers, pirates, mostly aliens unafraid of the Empire. But we can't simply cower in our base when the mission is to damage and exhaust the Republic. And our men can't do it. Commander, this visit is a gift to us from fate. I will go if the ranking officer wishes. Eudrus presumes much, but he's right. You're the Colonel's only chance. Our best case scenario is that Colonel Vanis's communications tipped off the Republic, and he's gone quiet. But if I were out in that cold, I'd have called for a rescue. If you can find the Colonel, everyone on this base is in your debt. Looking for a ship, called the Star Runner. My lord, truly an honor, and a surprise. I'm afraid no ships have landed on Hoth in ages, unless it's a crash. Actually, the name Star Runner sounds familiar. If I may ask, what do you need the ship for? You're here on Darth Thanoson's behalf, naturally. I am my own master now. But you can be forgiven for thinking otherwise. Right, of course. I meant no offense, my lord. Star Runner. Blast. Your ship crashed years ago. It's buried under a few tons of snow by now. Your best bet? 
No. Give me a few months to get a recovery team on it. A Sith does what a Sith wants. Well, I mean, there's an Imperial Reclamation Service team you could take command of, if you wanted. It's just, the lieutenant in charge is a little odd. Too much time digging in tombs, you understand. I only care that he can find the ship. Lieutenant Talos Drellick could find a piece of glass in the Tatooine Desert, but he's very particular about his work. I'm afraid I can't call Lieutenant Drellick. The weather on Hoth is bad for communications. The team's way out in the way searching for some mythical Sith temple on Hoth of all places. Good luck, my lord. Found Colonel Vanus. He was dead. Murdered by Republic Tarls. Tarls. That would make sense. Cold adapted. Republic aligned. I've not killed their kind before. What about you, Commander? What? Yes, of course. The base awaits your orders, Commander. We are having deep morale issues in the forward outpost. I must show them that we can triumph without Colonel Vanus. Now is the time for reprisals. These chittering animals will not get away with this. I want ten of the Republic to suffer for every one of ours dead. I want every last tolls wiped out, their heads on sticks out in the frost. Anything you'd like to add? The main thrust of the plan is sensible, but given our limited knowledge, I suggest the plan be refined before use. A covert action is advisable, or we'll end up wiping out one group and causing the rest to go into hiding. I have data arrays we could install in their communications link. If we did that, we could locate and estimate their numbers before we hit them. Killing is reliable. Technology isn't. That sounds like a lesson gleaned from a life far more interesting than mine. Commander! Coming, Commander! Go ahead, Scout 5. We found a nest of tolls on the ice lake. Too many to engage. Transmitting coordinates now. Perfect timing. Brutally slaughtering a few dozen should sow fear throughout their little cabal. When you're done, report to the forward outpost. It's closer to the lake, and the men there can see your success in person. We're close, boys. We'll find that temple. I can feel it. Rogers, no cutting corners. Don't forget the salt. Salt's not the best solution, but it's the only thing that doesn't freeze out here, and solid footing is a must. You are in the presence of a Lord of the Sith. Act it. Apologies, my lord. I forget my profession is not of interest to everyone. What brings you to Hoth? And how may I be of service? I'm hunting a ghost, actually. On a crashed ship. Hmm. A ship. Not usually our line, but let's hear it. Maybe we can help. Hmm. A bit new for the reclamation service, but artifacts. And a ghost. I've heard that the dead talk down in the tombs, but to see one, oh. I wonder if it'd be possible to make a hollow image. I imagine it would depend on the light. Yes. Darker would be better. Engineer Sorrel, do we have any probes that aren't frozen solid? Shalora works as good as any in these conditions, sir. She may not look like much, but she's got heart. If my guess is correct, the captain would have launched a distress beacon before the crash, which would give us a line on the ship. Aren't you supposed to be in the Imperial military? We do a more conceptual sort of soldiering. We fight the dark army of forgetting that threatens our history. My boys and I go to shift camp. Try to get a better communication setup going. But let us know if you find anything. This is Captain Quellen of the Star Runner. SOS, I repeat. SOS. We're caught in Hoth's gravitational pull, and falling fast. Strange events date back two weeks. Yavin 4 artifacts, believed to be the source. Something has taken control of the ship. To whomever finds this message, burn this vessel. Don't look inside. Don't touch it. Burn it. Lieutenant Drellick really is something else. Could find a Wampa here in a snowdrift, I bet. It still doesn't tell me where the ship is. No, 
but we have a bearing from the beacon launch. And those tracks. Somebody beat us to this thing. Lieutenant, sir. We found the beacon, but no ship. There's some light tracks, though. They appear to be a few days old. Have Shalora zoom in, sir. I've been studying alien tracks since I was old enough to know a Twi'lek from a Toccata. Um, Ortolan. I'd know them if they were six days old and covered in jam. Those are Ortolan tracks. I'll be sure to look for you next time my ship's galley is invaded by a pack of Ortolans. <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember that next time the Imperial Reclamation Service Trackers Committee meets. It looks like those Ortolans dug something up. Possibly a clue to the ship's location. Sorrel, where's the nearest Ortolan camp? It's a ways beyond the next outpost, but the tracks look headed in the right direction. Well, might be time to put on your best diplomatic face, my lord. Ortolans don't like outsiders much, but it looks like they're the key to finding our ghost. It is done. Nothing remains in the Tal's cave but ice and debris. Good. They will have no choice but to strike. We are ready for them. Commander! Commander! There's reports of a Tal's attack. Excellent. What wing are they headed for? No wing, sir. They're at the power station. They're overrunning the guards. They brought bombs. These Tals have no fear. Even when their army is at its last breath, they want to take us down with them. If they kill the power station, we'll have no heat. We'll have to evacuate, or we won't last past nightfall. Every available gun needs to be saving that station. We can't send everyone. What if they expect that, and surprise us here? I'll call for reinforcements from Adamus Orbital. They should be able to land within the hour. Just get to that power station, and quickly! <laughs> I don't listen to anyone who plants bombs in my power station. Toron reporting in, my lord. Our company is on the ground and we have secured the perimeter. You couldn't have arrived while I was fighting an army. I'm sorry, my lord. We were ensuring no tolls escaped the trap. We'll finish up here. If you return to Dawn Base, Commander Triton will no doubt want to congratulate you in person. You say the Sith held off the entire Tolls force single-handed? It sounds incredible to be sure, but here, I'll let you talk directly. My lord, we cannot express our gratitude. May I introduce Moth Brainor, Overseer of the Hoth System, among others. I heard you telling the Moth the good news. Yes. You saved us from giving a much bleaker report. If not for you, Dawn Base would have been lost, and all the outposts that depend on it. It is for that reason I ask you your opinion. Would you say Commander Triton or Chiss Captain Eudris was more instrumental in the base's defense? Commander Triton's leadership has been forthright and direct. I expected such a response. Triton works diligently, if not always wisely. He is hereby promoted to Colonel, responsible for the welfare of Dawn Base until further notice. That's a lot of responsibility, wouldn't you say, Commander? He has served us well under fire. And the soldiers respect you. That is paramount. And I will not disappoint you, Moth Brainor. Your recommendation has meant the world to me, but I must turn my attentions to my base immediately. Sir, there is still the matter of the pirates at Leth Outpost. Yes, of course. Captain Revar lost a facility of some sort, yes? If you're in the area, you might want to look into it. Terrible pirates out there. We're running on geothermal power now. We blew a circuit when it came on, but that was easily fixed. Did the Hawks prove difficult? They would have killed me if I let them. 
I believe a thank you is in order. I'm sorry. I thought it went without saying that everyone in this base owes you a debt. Civilians need to evacuate the station. Step away from the console with your hands on your head. <laughs> I said, step away from the console with your hands on your head. I hear if you wave that blaster around enough, someone might fight back. Intruders! I've got intruders in the shaft room! I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. It's obvious I'm not here for your benefit. Why aren't you running? You provide the expertise, and the Empire will provide protection. There they are! Get them! My lord, I've been studying the Sith Code lately, and I'm wondering what you think of the line, Peace is a lie. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room for interpretation, but I know you are an ardent proponent of peace. You should know by now that I do not allow the Sith to dictate how I live my life. Yes, I guess so. It still strikes me as strange how you can be Sith and value Sith teachings so little. The Jedi Code is the core of our philosophy. We learn it by heart and it's the foundation of everything we do. But I guess it's different for the Sith. The Sith Code is more a description than a guide. We do not repress our emotions, and we embrace everything that the Force allows. That is what binds us, not the Code. What about the Emperor? And the Dark Council? I thought they governed the Sith. Yes, but like the rest of the Sith, they are torn apart by petty arguments. It can't go on like that, you know. How can there be peace with the Sith Empire when every Sith does their own thing? This task we've taken gets more difficult every day. For the remains of a ship called the Star Runner, which you took from the Distress Beacon site. Could you say that again? No offense, but Master, why can't you Sith just become one with the Force when you die? Surely I can persuade you otherwise. I've never taken no for an answer, and it would be shame to start now. I do no one's bidding, but my own. Why not have these creatures do it for you?
I met the ghost, and he needs me to get inside an ancient temple. Then it's true! My peers in the service laughed when I said it was on Hoth, but now, yes! It's the only thing that makes sense. Your ghost said he was a follower of Ludo Kresh, and that Naga Sadao's assassins killed him. Sif, do you realize what you've done? You're cute when you're excited. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, how kind of you to say. We're talking about the fabled Sadoween, Naga Sadao's personal order of assassins, myth made real. Don't worry, I'll get you inside. I've been circumventing the security of ancient tombs since I was old enough to hold a data spike in a pair of pliers. Glad to hear it. Let me just gather up my equipment here. All right, let's go! a simple pulley job. I, I just need to... Give me a moment. I am too excited! Every time I open a new tomb, like watching a flower blossom, so many wonders! Unbelievable! These look like the catacombs. The rest of the temple must have been destroyed by the elements. The great and secret order of Naga Sadao's assassins, the Sadoween. This is where they came to die when their bloody work was done. Why build in such an inhospitable place? What better place when no one would dare to come here? Please, I know the ghost wants this all destroyed, but let me at least take some hollow recordings. To obliterate all this history, why, we'd be orphaning ourselves. A culture needs the hand of the past to guide it. Take your record, and make it extra thorough. Thank you. It shouldn't take too long. There. That's the last piece. Just... just tell me when it's over. That's the last of them. My lord, that droid, didn't we already defeat it? Excellent. Thank you, Sith, for your help. Fascinating. How is this possible? It doesn't appear to be technological. To see those pawns of Nagasadao crushed, their graves defiled. Normally, I consider myself above revenge, but this pleases me. I hope this is your way of saying you're grateful. Yes, Sith. It is. The ghost! Never in a million years! The Star Runner may be found in the belly of the mighty Super Dreadnought Star of Coruscant, in the graveyard of ships. I landed it there for safekeeping after I crushed its foolish captain. There. You will find me. I know the place, but it's swarming with pirates. White Moor, I think they're called. Not exactly connoisseurs of the historical. I need that ghost's power to defeat Darth Thanaton. I wait expectantly for your arrival. Unbelievable! One minute it's walking around good as new, and the next... Oh, there's better equipment for analysis at the base near here. It's on the way to the ship graveyard, if you'll follow me. <laughs> it's
It seems you have some skill, stranger. You are not the effete little warriors they usually send our way. I suppose you were also the one who slew so many in the White Ridge Hills. Your men are dead, buried in the snow. I am here. I had expected more hatred from a foe we have beaten and starved. But perhaps you are not from the outpost, are you? No. Them I know. You are something different. You do as I do. You compete to out-compete. For you, I have a challenge. It's past time I ended you. I think not. Truly a beacon of hope to the Empire, my lord. One glance at your impressive stature, and our men will know that we've nearly won Hoth. If your men are going to respect me, let it be out of terror. I'm sure they quiver at your mention. But there's still room to increase their awe. On top of pirates and the Republic, our boys battle sub-zero temperatures, blizzards, frostbite. The list goes on. But you can boost their morale. What better way to warm up and invigorate the men than by rescuing supplies from the ship graveyard? I can think of a few more entertaining ways to keep warm, officer. I... I well... Who turned up the thermal arrays? <laughs> Duty first, Varric. Duty first. Here we are. Now, I have to analyze this droid. But your friend said they'd be here if you needed them. I believe the ghost said he was in the Dreadnought. Best go there if you wish to find him. Of alarms. The time has come to move our base of operations to Lorimar. Why go to Lorimar when nothing can reach us here? The guards will handle whatever intruders at the door. Your guards couldn't handle an Ortolan in a shock collar. Ah, scurry but for a meter dosium. More flaska, key cafe mamma got too flat on. I don't know who you think you are, but you made a bad mistake opening this door. Es a silgo terben a ser zet lakata. I owe you nothing but a swift death. Nengamomichu! As you said, there were a few bumps, but they've been smoothed out. I wouldn't have wanted to see what they'd do to me once I contacted Korriban and told them I got a Sith Lord killed. So, the White Maw finally falls. I wonder, was this the nerve center of their operation, or are there valuables hidden elsewhere? I found a place called Lorimar in their databanks. It's likely their stash is there. Lorimar. I wonder if that has to do with the inventor, Lorimar. He was quite a droid maker before he vanished a decade or so back. We should probably send a salvage team to investigate. But seeing as you trusted me with this information, I think I'll mark the area as unsecured until you're finished with it. That way the reclamation service doesn't get first crack. That's kind of you. Don't mention it. Especially not where internal security might be listening. Thank you. I doubt I could have trusted someone else to bring this operation to a close. My savior and avenger, my heart is light. Almost as if I were alive again. You have a gift. The way you and your apprentice cut through my guardians was most satisfactory. What was the point of having them attack us? Haven't we already proven ourselves to you? I am sorry, but I have always been vain, and surrender is not a pill I swallow easily. I promise to free you when I have defeated my enemy, Darth Thanaton. More generous than I'd expected. But I would be a fool to ask for less. Seal the promise with your blood, and I will submit willingly to your control. Sorry. The sight of my own blood makes me squeamish. I won't be taken easily. Oh, 
Lord, I hoped to catch you before you left. I, um... I have resigned from the service. The military just isn't the best use of my talents. I feel I could serve the Empire better by, uh... By helping you. If you'll let me. I can always use another lover of the strange. It would be an honor. I promise I won't let you... Wait, you will? Great! Great! Thank you. You won't regret it. I have military training, rifles, small arms, grenades, and I am the best in the galaxy at finding rare artifacts, if I may say so. The ship's getting crowded. Are you sure we can use him? I promise I won't let you down. Yes! I can sense the new power within you. Good. And I would suggest... Tagasar Chais embarks prize war pairing Swase Ikbus Karadida. For once I agree with a monster. Break into Thanaton's meditation chamber and blast him with all those dead Sith you've piled up. Then set a course for Drummond Kass. You got it, Captain. But if you face him with his defenses up like last time, you're toast. Don't forget it. If there's any way I can aid you, my lord, let me know. My lightsaber is ready, should you have need. Up now, we sons. Daga ai we sandans, ni namans for easy be jandans amin. Sai galut saida, iswis us uf bandan, ja atnam, in puidangar ja. Lots of strangers enter that tomb, Cam. It's used to train acolytes. Swai wai silbans in iswish, paman ik alkas jam. Guidis in tis isvares. How saip, sai uran sa saians, do saian frawa. It's been hundreds of years, and no one's discovered his burial chambers. But I guibanist, ni fragais fraujan, kub painaina. Ustaupaim, I see jai in alam is frumadain habans. Just wanted to thank you again for having me along. I'm honored to work with someone of your expertise. The archaeological pursuits of the Sith and Empire have been separate for too long. It is our common history. We have a shared duty to unearth it. Sith rarely seek knowledge for its own sake. Your purity is refreshing. I wouldn't consider myself purer than anyone else in my line of work. I'm honored to do what I do. From the depths of the ground, history calls us to save it from obscurity. I do my best to answer that call. I can tell you do the same. You remind me of my old mentor, Orcelio Gan. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, I meant it as a compliment. He was the best there ever was. But what am I doing talking when there's work to be done? As we say in the service, the dead aren't getting any younger. <laughs> 